Mew Legends Open Beta begins, Battle Right is now officially free to play, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, the latest entry into the Mew franchise, Mew Legend, has officially entered open beta, aka it's now pretty much launched. The reason I say this is there's no more wipes and the cash shop is live, so should you play it? Well, as someone who has reached level 65 as a war mage, I give the game a double thumbs up. Very meaty and smooth combat, numerous progression systems to keep you coming back every single day, and lots of content to grind your way through. Plus, WebZem seems to have all the server issues ironed out, so now it should be smooth sailing. Kakao Games and Bluehole Studios are teaming up to publish a new MMORPG in the West. Formerly known as Project W, Ascent Infinite Realm wraps up steampunk and high fantasy in a pretty package that features airships, jetpacks, magic, dragons, and more, all at a cinematic frame rate as shown by the trailer. I'm joking, of course, I'm sure that wasn't their intent, but still, first impressions matter, and that's my first impression, is look at that frame rate drop. Air features five classes, Warlord, Sorceress, Gunslinger, Assassin, and Mystic, while promising each class is fully customizable. Kakao and Bluehole are aiming to get the first closed beta test out by early 2018, and we don't technically know if it's free to play yet, but until we hear otherwise, we'll keep featuring it on the show from time to time, as well as on MMOBomb.com. If they iron out the frame rate, which might not be possible considering both devs are notorious for bad optimization, then it might be an interesting title. We'll just have to wait and see. You know that game by Stunlock Studios that I always mention on the show and you guys tend to always mention that it's not free to play yet? Well, Battle Right has now gone officially free to play. Free players can take advantage of a rotating set of six champions every single week and you can buy new champions individually or shell out for a champions pack to get access to all 22 current and future champions. The game features MOBA style gameplay with multiple modes such as 2v2, 3v3 and more. And if you've been waiting for this game to go free to play or it just looks interesting to you, now you can download it for free on Steam. Halloween wasn't too long ago, so I guess it's not surprising that a zombie by the name of Raider Z is still running around looking for brains. In fact, Masang Soft acquired the title from Maya Entertainment and is looking to bring the game back to life. Before they do so though, they wish to take their time to see how they can provide a better experience. It's intriguing to me that they're bringing back this older title, but I'm wanting to hear your guys' thoughts, so it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked you guys which game has made your hand hurt the most. Used by the name of Kakao Hunden, stated the following, Silk Road Online made me get permanent injuries in my hand, having to grind the same combo over and over again for 8 hours a day to get that sweet max level gear. Not a smart move by myself. Thanks for your guys' responses, and this week we're doing a poll, so in order to participate, be sure to leave your reply down below. This week's question is, do you want Raider Z to return? Why or why not? Last up in the news this week, if you want to be sneaking and stabbing within the free-to-play MMORPG Revelation Online, then My.com has the class for you, the Assassin. Featured in the new Shadowblade update is the Assassin class, which specializes in short to mid-range combat. Also included the update is class areas, which feature a dedicated quest line for your character, Venom quests, and more. Seems like a decent sized update. You know what is always decent sized? Our giveaways, of course. Yes, head on over to mobomb.com, check out that giveaways page, bookmark it, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out till next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.